of the channel. Um, so it's not been the best of weeks so far. Um, I was due to have my second heart operation on Tuesday and uh, they had to cancel it or postpone it. Um, but as a result of that, it's also meant that I've had to cancel my holiday to Turkey in September. So the plan for tonight is to have a nice leisurely cruise, find somewhere nice to moor up and just chill out for the night. Have a bit of chill out for the night. Enjoy the cruise. to sit next to the boat but um, the way my week is going I'd probably fall in between the boat and the canal so I thought better of it but um, but you can't see it at the moment but that is going to be one cracking sunset there I'll take some photos when it happens So over the last week or so, as I say, it's been quite quite a stressful week. Um, so I've been thinking of what I can do to give Elsie a little bit of a facelift. And I've decided that we're going to start with the galley, or for you land lovers, the kitchen. Um, it, from a distance, it doesn't look too bad. Um, but when you get up close to the, to the yellow, especially the paint, um, it's a little bit, it's a little bit rough around the edges. Let's say that. Um, so I've worked out that I've got three real choices. First choice is to um, strip back the paint and take it back to the original unit um, because the unit is original. Um, so what you've got to bear in mind is that um, Elsie is anywhere between 35 and 50 years old. Um, so it's quite an old unit. I don't know what kind of state it is underneath. Um, the other issue with that is that a lot of people have said that um, using any kind of paint stripper on it may be an issue because it's fiberglass. It's a fiberglass cabinet. Um, I don't really want to sand it because again you will get scratches. Um, although if I used an orbital with wet and dry, take a long time but uh, it shouldn't scratch it too much. Metal scrapers definitely scratch and gouge it. Um, so I think option one is kind of the last resort. A lot of work. I've got my uh, my pale ale. Not had that one before. And um, quick shout out for Jeff from the uh, Welsh Cake Hut um, who gave me some Welsh cakes. In fact, it gave me a lot of Welsh cakes, so um, I will enjoy them over the next couple of days. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Uh, you can catch him down in Cumbran Town Centre uh, by Monmouth Walk on Friday and Saturdays. So my second option was to um, just rip the whole unit out, rip the whole galley out and get a new unit and pop that in. And it worked out between uh, 250 and 350 to 400 pound for a new unit um, which was quite nice because it was a whole set the one I was looking at came with a combi uh, sink and hob and uh, waste and uh, fresh water bottles tap pumps basically everything you needed all the gas caster fittings and everything um, the reason I'm not going for all that is um, mainly because I would have to get someone to fit it so the chances of it not doubling in price up to sort of like 700 quid with labour um, yeah I don't really fancy paying that much
The third option is to keep the uh, current cabinet in place and cover it. Um, what I'm thinking is maybe covering it with some thin plyboard, maybe 5mm plyboard, um, square out the doors um, and make some new doors for it just so that it's all flush. Um, I quite like that idea. I think that's what I'm going to go for. I mean, it's not it's not a what you call a, a highly skilled job. Um, you know, I've built wooden wardrobes before now, so I'm sure I could deal with it. So that's all the measurements done. Um, I'm going to go home now and do a proper drawing of it. I mean, I'm, I'm no expert at drawing, so it'll be a bit up dash, but. Um, get a general idea do you? so that's the plan anyway um, I'm gonna think a little bit more on it uh, there's other things I want to do I've got some um, covering for the seeding um, and some other type, other colour fabric covering for the walls. Um, but that can wait for now. That's not urgent, urgent. So um, that's my plans. I'm going to start with the galley, take it from there. Obviously, when I start getting rid of the yellow, I'm probably going to follow it through and get rid of everything else that's yellow as well. Um, but it's going to be a work in progress anyway. So we'll see how it goes. But I uh, hope you liked the video. Um, give it a like and a comment. If you've got any other ideas on what to do with the unit or if you prefer one of the other options, please leave a message in the comments and let me know. Um, chances are I won't act on it because um, I probably would have started to work by the time that I put this video out. But um, give the video a like, comment, subscribe, you know what to do. And I will catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye now.